One of the most powerful new features in On1 Photo Raw 2026 is its new AI upscaling tool, Resize AI 2026. However, if you're a beginner, you might not know exactly how to use it effectively. So in this video, I'm going to walk you through how to use Resize AI and share some practical tips to help you turn even the lowest resolution, lowest quality photos into detailed tack sharp images. To start off, let's go over the steps to upscale an image with Resize AI in ON1 2026. So here I am in browse mode. To resize, simply make sure your photos are selected, then click the more button and choose Resize AI. And this will open the Resize AI interface. As you can see, there are two models to choose from, standard and highest quality. So the first tip is to understand the difference between these two models. The standard model uses a traditional AI approach that predicts missing pixels based on training images. It is faster and less GPU intensive than highest quality. On the other hand, highest quality model uses diffusion based AI, the same technology behind popular AI image generators like Midjourney and DALL-E. Instead of simply predicting pixels, it can reconstruct fine details producing more natural and organic looking textures. However, it is also slower and more computationally demanding. So let's start off by upscaling with the standard model. As you can see, this image has a resolution of 1756 by 1174 pixels. I'll set to increase the resolution to 4000 pixels at the long edge. And that brings us to the second tip know how to preview an image. To preview an image, make sure to zoom in beyond 100%, and when you do, you'll see a progress bar appear at the bottom right corner showing the preview status. By the way, I'm currently using ON1 on a Mac. On Windows, for whatever reason, the progress bar doesn't appear, which means the preview doesn't seem to work properly. In that case, your only choice is to export to see the result. I'm not sure why that happens, but it's definitely something ON1 needs to fix soon. There, the preview is done. Here's the before and the after. As you can see, the upscaled image is much sharper and clearer, even without any additional sharpening applied. And speaking of sharpening, the next tip is to turn on sharpening. ON1's sharpening tool works incredibly well to make your image pop and it's one of its key advantages over other upscaling tools. Here's another before and after with sharpening turned on. And as you can see, it's an even bigger improvement with the image more defined. Next, let's upscale with the highest quality model. And again, a nice improvement. That said, since the difference is minor, and as the standard model processes the image about five times faster, I recommend using the standard model for most images, especially when there's already a good amount of detail in the original photo and the upscale factor isn't too large. The fourth tip is to know when to use the highest quality model. Use the highest quality model for extremely low resolution and low quality images that lack fine detail. To demonstrate, let's start off upscaling this 540 by 390 pixel image with the standard model. I'll set the long edge to 4000 pixels. Zooming in, you can see just how poor the original quality is. There's heavy pixelation caused by the lack of resolution for this display size. And there, the upscaling is done. As you can see, standard did a very good job removing the pixelation and producing an overall sharp, smooth result. However, you'll notice that the fur looks smudged or painted without the fine strands you'd expect in a high quality image. And that's because the standard model is simply guessing texture rather than truly reconstructing it. Now, let's try the highest quality model. As you can see, it's a night and day difference. The model regenerates realistic detail with the individual strands of the cat's fur clearly visible especially around the forehead and muzzle. The long white whiskers are also rendered with impressive precision, 
standing out sharply against the darker background. Here's another example, this time a portrait with a tiny resolution of 362 by 576 pixels. First, let's look at the result using the standard model. Notice how the eyelashes appear smudged and lack fine detail, while the hair looks painted and overly smooth. Now here's the result with the highest quality model. The intricate details in the eyelashes and hair strands are now clearly visible and much more natural looking. Finally, let's upscale a landscape photo. Here's the original image at 550 by 394 pixels which looks extremely soft and blurred. Now here's the result using the standard model, upscaled to a long edge of 4000 pixels. While the result is definitely higher quality, many of the finer details appear smoothed out, giving it an overly painted look. And here's the result with the highest quality model. Notice how the intricate details in the trees and leaves are beautifully restored, producing a much more natural and realistic upscale. The fourth tip is to save time by batch processing. One nice feature of Resize AI is it supports batch processing a boatload of photos. To use it, simply navigate to Browse View, select your photos, right click and choose Export. In the dialog, enable Resize and ensure the method is set to Resize AI. Unfortunately, though, in this version, there's no option to select the highest quality model for batch processing, so you can only batch upscale with the standard model, which is a shame. Hopefully, On1 updates this soon to include highest quality for batch exports. So I hope you found this video helpful. If you're interested in getting On1 Photoraw 2026, you can get it at an even lower price by using my link and the code TBP20 at checkout. And best of all, you'll be supporting the channel. Thanks in advance and I'll see you in the next video.